Hey yo, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem And double honors to my apostles and elders, the great millstone who rule well and teach well, being a great example to us, brothers. And peace and salutations to you, hopeful elect. Okay, I gotta just uh, respond to this uh, video that the elder apostle Tahar put up of Bernard Hopkins. It says, "Cause reporters a sucker." Walks off interview over Showtime. The following announcement has let's been just, made for let's just listen to it, man. You see what I'm saying? Let's get straight to it. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Marcos Villegas for Fight Up TV, powered by Stage Front VIP, being joined with Bernard Hopkins. We're here in Los Angeles. Bernard, uh, let's get right into it. Showtime ending uh, boxing as a whole. No more boxing on the network. Rest in peace, Showtime Boxing. Yeah, so uh, your thoughts and also, too, like, what, what caused that? Like, who, who's at fault? Is this good or bad? I think it's good. Really? That's why I said rest in peace. Yeah. Yeah, why, why wouldn't it be good? I don't know. Less, less boxing on a TV network. Why wouldn't it be good or why wouldn't it be bad? You got to look at the new world order. Curtis Mayfield. I don't know. You know what Curtis Mayfield is? He mentioned the new world order. You see, these brothers have been watching the elders and apostles just like us, man. First and foremost, that's that's what I've noticed. He mentions Curtis Mayfield. Okay. And I don't, I don't even want to get into that, maybe later, but you can tell that this gospel has reached almost all the four corners of the earth, all, all, all around the earth, man. And we're seeing Esau Edom, the so-called white man, as who he is. We're seeing that this place is going down. What does the scripture say? Let's, let, let, let's get the scripture real quick, then I'll, I'll come back here. See, people are noticing that Esau is the end of the world, man. <laughs> Jacob is the beginning. You see what I'm saying? This is 2nd Edges 6 and 9. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed and we know that Esau Edom is a so-called white man. See, everybody, everybody's figuring, figuring this thing out. Everybody's seeing the prophecies come to pass, man. Well, let me get another scripture real quick while I'm here. Because this is what he goes into pretty much, man. He knows what's coming. This is 2 Peter 3 and 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So all that boxing shit, all this NFL shit, all everything that you thought that was good for you, all you sellouts that's gonna try to deliver us up to this cracker, you you Floyd Mayweathers that that think that you posting some shit about this, that, and the other is gonna help you. These fucking crackers want you dead, you nigga. You fucking dumbass Jake. They want you dead. They don't give a fuck about you, man. All this is going to melt with fervent heat from the Lord, man. Oh, you thought the Lord was a white man. Oh, you thought, hey, you, you better think of him. Just like Floyd Mayweather, you better think of the Lord as one of those. Hey, you tough, ain't you, nigga? The Lord way tougher, man. He ain't taking no punches. You took some punches in your life. Bernard Hopkins took some punches in his life. The Lord don't take punches, man. He gives punches. Okay? Let me get, let, 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 let me, let, I'll come back. I got to get something else. The Lord gives the punches, nigga. This is Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. The Lord gives the punches, man. The Lord don't take punches. 
the Lord dish out the punishment. You niggas been hitting your face. The Lord ain't taking no hits, nigga. It seems like Bernard Hopkins realizes that, at least. And you other niggas don't realize that. You don't realize what the fuck going on in this world, man. Second Peter 3 and 10 again. It says a new heaven, a new earth. But Nora Hopkins know this what's going down. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Them nukes, man. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Everything around you, boxing, NFL, basketball, uh, NBA, all this bullshit, man. It says the earth also and the works that are therein. All this shit that you think that you're going to just keep on doing and hurry up. Uh, we're going to get rich off of this. We're going to do this. We're going to do this forever. And this is going to make us rich. Nothing's going to ever change. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. And you can see what's going on in the Middle East and, and different places in the earth. War is coming to America. You, you Americans are just so simple, especially you American men. You a simple ass nigga. You worshiping the woman. You competing with the woman with your long ass bitch ass hair. Oh, I got dreadlocks. I got more hair than my girl do. Uh, uh, uh. You pussy. You pussy ass American men. You a pussy, man. Oh, I got Glocks 19s and 45s and AK-47s and shit. But the white man in the woods training to go against your bitch ass. All you Crips and Bloods and GDs and all this Vice Lord shit. MS-13s and all this fuck ass. Y'all niggas ain't nothing. Second Peter 3 and 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversations and godliness? Bernard Hopkins, he, he, he on it, man. Listen. You heard of it? Damn. <laughs> our black history, like, like we got to like, in this country, not blaming you anybody, but this is, this. you heard of Curtis Mayfield. Okay. It's a black man, yeah, yeah. right? Probably 22, 23. I'm too much, ain't I? Right, I'm, 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 give it to Joy, please. Can you give it to Joy? I'm, I'm too much. I guess she age and everything. You know, that's why they can't deal with me, a black man. But let me, let me get to the point. Let me tell you. I don't look at Showtime being out of boxing as a bad or good thing. They want you to think that way. I can say I don't care. But I do. I care that it's a change. It's a new world order. Curtis Mayfield. So now why I said that is because a lot of people that are going to see this going to go and for the first time, they're going to listen to Curtis Mayfield lyrics. And then they're going to say, wow, this was in the 70s. They was talking this in the 60s. The world order. It happens in business too. Look around. Some of the food don't taste like it used to taste before COVID Time. or after COVID. Time. So let's deal with the See? business now. Oh, they leaving. They out of box. Is that bad? No. Rest in peace. It's over. If you ain't going to live forever, do you think everything is going to last forever? Let me say that again. If you, gonna, if you don't live forever, you think everything is going to last forever? You see? He been listening to our apostles, man. <laughs> oh man, the Lord is close, brothers. The Lord is very close. You see, masculinity is coming back. All this feminism shit. 
These women thinking they men and get beat up by another man that claims he's a woman in the boxing ring. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Real men are going to stand up in this last time. War is coming to America. Bernard Hopkins can understand that. But what do you understand? You're not getting ready. Why do you why do you see all these rich people getting bunkers trying to hide? Trying to store away food, all these preppers. Why is everybody prepping? What what are they prepping for? Everybody's getting prepared besides you stupid motherfuckers out there, man. So with that, I like to say shallow one. <laughs>